The following program is paid for by the friends and partners of Andrew Osakwe Ministries International. plan for you is to be financially liberated, financially stable, financially secure, based on Him as your source. The wealth of God is your birthright as a child of God. Previously on Breakforth. Do you know that the church buildings should be the nicest buildings in the town? because it represents God. It represents his kingdom. If you have a problem with that, then you should check your heart. There's dishonor in your heart. Coming up on Break Forth. So when it comes to holiness, holiness actually puts you in position for two main things. It puts you in position for the fulfillment of divine purpose, one. Two, it puts you in position for the activation of your inheritance and both are connected because the inheritance is needed for the fulfillment of the purpose. Glory to Jesus. So the honor, honor key will take us to the next key which is based on honor. You see, when we truly honor God, we will separate ourselves for his use. We will separate ourselves for his use. This is holiness. This is holiness. Glory to Jesus. Now, many have not connected the activation of supernatural wealth with holiness. Because many do not even understand what holiness is. Because for many, holiness is really just about how you are dressing. Amen? Or whether you put on makeup or not, you don't put on makeup. External things. And the externals are important, but within the context. Glory to God within a context of that which is God's standard. Amen? God has his own standard. Anything outside of God's standard, I don't care how, how men praise you about it, it doesn't meet up. If it doesn't meet up to God's standard, it's not acceptable. Praise the Lord. Are you with me here? And don't forget what I said about the heart. When it comes to God, he goes... He goes into your heart. He checks your heart out. Praise the Lord. So that means if you focus too much on the externals, you will miss God. Because you are focused on the externals. He's looking at your heart. Religion is very focused on the externals. You see? While God looks inside. So that's why it's easy to judge people. Meanwhile, the women who followed Jesus, who, who ended up being uh, the, uh, his greatest partners in ministry, some of them were people who were delivered from from seven demons. Some of them were ex-prostitutes. Praise the Lord. But God looks beyond the externals. Praise the Lord. And those who seemed to get it all right all through that time were not as elevated as those people. Praise the Lord. Are you understanding my point now? Very important. Holiness. Holiness. What is holiness? Holiness is a separation separation. Glory to Jesus. Now, just that, that's what this, this statement I just made now should help you connect the concept of holiness with the concept of prosperity. Separation. If God wants to pour something on you, if God wants to 
endow you with his with greater dimensions of his blessing doesn't it make sense that he will separate you amen because there's a level of prosperity where God cannot have you share it with somebody who, who does not see what you see because it becomes a problem. There's a level of prosperity that, that God has to check out to make sure you, you have his perspective. And so somebody who doesn't have his perspective, who is in contact with you or in connection with you, for instance, will, 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 will jeopardize or hinder your ability to manage his resources according to vision. Does that make sense? So there's a problem. So there's certain levels of prosperity. God has to pull you, pull you apart. In other, words, in other words, separate you for the blessing. Separated for the blessing. Amen. When you think about holiness, think about separation. Don't think about religious activity. Think about separation, which begins in your heart. Separation. There are things that will start to flow into your life, right? And you wonder because you haven't, you haven't yet, you just made a decision to make an adjustment. You have not yet started doing it, but God saw your heart. And you wonder, just that decision I made just now, suddenly a phone call came. Because God knew you had crossed the line in your heart. You had separated inside because you can't separate outside in a quality way if you don't separate on the inside. So once God sees your internal separation, that's the signal to God that you are ready for activity. It's here. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus. So holiness is a separation. is separation from something onto something. There are two sides. is separation from something and then a separation onto something. That second part is very important because some just separate from something but don't realize you have not completed this, this cycle until you separate onto something. Does that make sense? A separation from sin and a separation unto God. And when I say sin, I, 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 mean, I mean that which causes you to miss the mark. So it's not just about um, a violation of the law or violation of certain expectations, but it's also a separation from weights. Some things are not sin in terms of of, uh, of the law, right? But, but, but there are weights. Glory to God. And as far as God is concerned, you have to separate from some weights if you're going to be in position for the full flow of his prosperity. You have to separate from sin and weights. Praise the Lord. That's why you have Hebrews 12 is actually a holiness scripture. People don't realize it. Hebrews 12 is a holiness scripture. Glory to Jesus. Saying, lay aside every sin and, and uh, sorry, every weight and the sin which so easily besets you. And then do what? Run. Separate from something and then separate onto something. So you separate from sin and weights and then you, you separate onto his purpose. So when it comes to holiness, holiness actually puts you in position for two main things. It puts you in position for the fulfillment of divine purpose, one. Two, it puts you in position for the activation of your inheritance. And both are connected. Because the inheritance is needed for the fulfillment of the purpose. So the holiness becomes vital. And many do not see the connection. And so they just kind of live careless lives. Separation from sin. Twofold, two dimensions. Separation, separation from the nature of sin, one. Two, separation from the activity of sin. The first one took place when you gave your life to Jesus Christ. You were separated from the nature of sin. Now, 
you have to begin the lifestyle which is separate from the activity of sin. And that's the lifestyle that activates what you got when you separated from the nature of sin. Let me take it backwards. When you separated from the nature of sin, you got something. You got an inheritance in Christ, but it's not activated. How do I activate it? By faith. Do you realize that when you walk in holiness, it's a walk of faith? When you say no to sin and you say yes to, to the will of God, it's by faith. Glory to Jesus. You need to understand faith principles for you to walk out the walk of holiness. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because then you have to do things you don't feel like doing. Because you have a persuasion. You do it even if I don't feel like it. And then the things you feel like doing, you refuse to do it because you have a persuasion. So I'm living by my persuasion. That's living by faith. Amen. Glory to Jesus. So you can see how the first key connects to this one. Because when you honor God in truth, you will separate yourself from that which does not glorify him. And you separate yourself unto that which glorifies him because you honor him. You cannot separate true prosperity from holiness. There's a level of, I mean, sufficiency supply that God will take care of you because you're his child. But that's one level. But there's a level of the abundance where you're able to move in the full supply like Jesus did. Jesus wouldn't have operated in that full supply if he was compromised. So people mix it up. Because God showed up for you for rent, you assume that's the full supply. That's not the full supply. That's sufficiency. There's the abundance. And the abundance, there's a qualification for the activation. It's already yours. But to activate it, you have to be trusted. Is someone still here with me? Thank you, Jesus. Living right is not the work of the flesh. It's the fruit of the Spirit. Done by grace. Grace empowers you to live right. Daily Boost. Daily Boost by Pastor Andy Osakwe is designed to provide the daily push you need to propel you into your season of dominion and great exploits. Watch and listen to Daily Boost weekdays, Monday to Friday on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at 12 noon at Dr. Andy Osakwe. Daily Boost is a 30-minute broadcast that will empower you to experience victory every day. There are 24 people in this hall. The Lord is about to separate you. Eyes will see. You will not be able to hide what God is doing. Your life will inspire others. Holy Ghost, intensify now. Make it heavy, make it strong, make it strong, make it strong, make it stronger. Miracles are taking place. We reference your presence. Oh Lord, we reverence your presence. We reverence your presence. Do what you've always wanted to do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you hear the sound of revival? It's sweeping through the land. It's coming with uncommon manifestations that will put a new song in your mouth and a new dance in your feet. Yes, at a Summit 2021 conference, Revival Time. Eight days of glorious outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Date, Sunday 24th to Sunday 31st October 2021. Time, Monday to Friday, 5.30 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 9 a.m. 
Venue, the Summit Battle Church, Plot 1101, Kara District, between King's Village and Prince and Princess Estate, Abuja, Ministering in Word, are Pastor Kojo Yamadi, Lagos, Prophet Tomi Arayomi, UK, Pastor Jerry Aze, Abuja, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, Lagos, Apostle Israel Abam, Abuja, Pastor Odunayo Masyolu, Abuja, Prophet Emmanuel Effa, Abuja, Apostle Michael Oropo, McCurdy, Ministering in Music, are Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, Judy K, Moses Bliss, Olubide Iyun, Dunsil Yeko, and 360 Degrees of the Summit Bible. Church. Host Dr. Andil Sakwe, Summit 2021 Conference. This is bigger, greater, and more glorious. For inquiries, call plus 234-803-506-1771 or log on to www.thesummitbc.org forward slash summit 2021. Yes, Get ready for manifestations and breakthroughs. Get ready for a new sound of revival. It's the sound of heaven. See you there. So holiness is a separation from sin, both the nature and the activity, and a separation unto God. Another word for that is consecration. Consecration. Jesus lived a consecrated life. It was not difficult for God to channel his supply in his direction. He was consecrated. And I'm, I'm not talking about just something on the outside. He was consecrated in his heart, and God saw it. And so God knew, you know what? I can trust him with my resources. Praise the Lord. Amen? So there's a dimension of prosperity for these last days that will require holiness for it to be activated. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pastor, 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 you know, Christianity, we don't live by works. I didn't say you're living by works. The day you think holiness is a work of the flesh, you're in trouble. Let me repeat myself. The day you start to think that holiness is a work of the flesh, you're in deep trouble. Okay, that one didn't quite sink in. The, the day you think holiness is a work of the flesh, you are in desperate trouble. Holiness is not a work of the flesh. Amen. Holiness is a fruit of the spirit. Living right is not a work of the flesh. It's a fruit of the spirit. Done by grace. Grace empowers you to live right. And when you don't live right, what you are doing is you are, you are taking the grace of God in vain. You're, you're neglecting the grace of God. Praise the Lord. You said you wanted to prosper before now. Isn't that what you said? So why are you looking at me in that tone of voice? Hallelujah. I'm trying to show you how to prosper. Unless you want to stay in that general place. You want to rise above the general place, right? And move into the, in, in, into the perfections of God, right? Well, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show you how it's done. And I have scriptures for you. This is not something I'm just making up here. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When we truly love and honor God... We will avoid sin. We will avoid sin. And we will endeavor to live holy. Well, what if I don't live holy? No problem. Does God still love me? Yes, he does. But that God loves you doesn't mean that you are going to be able to move into the abundance he loves you doesn't mean you're going to be able to have access to all his resources. That those resources are your birthright doesn't mean you are ready to manage your birthright. A baby has birthrights, but cannot manage his birthrights until he grows older. Am I correct? That you are going to heaven doesn't mean you will enjoy 
the prosperity of God on the earth. People are going to heaven in different ways. Some people are going to heaven wealthy. Some are going to heaven poor, but they're going to the same heaven. So you choose which one you want to, how you want to go. If you want to remain poor for the next 30 years and then go to heaven, no problem, at least you will go to heaven. No be so. But if you want to, if you want to be useful to God, enjoy the wealth of God, and be useful to God in terms of the, 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 the good works of God, being able to be a, a, a kingdom financier, right, before you go to heaven, that's also available. It's your choice. Glory to God. Choices. Amen. You can go to heaven in ragged clothes, or you can go to heaven in a three-piece suit. Say amen, somebody. It's up to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can go to heaven stunted because of malnutrition. You are stunted. You are just moving along. You are stunted, but you made it. So you have to choose how you want to get there. Praise the Lord. I know how God wants you to get there. God wants you to be a proper representative of him. So when they see you, they know they have a taste of who your God is. And God wants you to be usable so that he can channel resources through your hands and use you to sponsor the message of the gospel. That's what he wants for you. Holiness is important. The wealth of God is a major part of our inheritance in Christ. And when I say wealth here, particularly I want to emphasize financial and material wealth. Those are important. Because we live in a, in a world that is natural. So we need natural resources to gain advantage on earth. Money is not evil. It's the love of money that is the root of evil. Amen? What's money? Paper. Paper. Is paper evil? Paper is a creation of God. It's not evil. God never created anything evil. So it's what's behind the paper. Amen? Praise the Lord. Let me give you some scriptures, because then some of you are now, okay, let me hear something. You will hear. Someone say holiness. holiness. You have to start to love that word. It's a good word. Amen? Amen. Holiness. 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 Ephesians 1, 3. Watch this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with what? Every spiritual blessing, all of them, we bl blessed us, past tense reality. He has blessed us. He's not about to bless us. He has blessed us. But you see, that means all of us who are saved, all of us who are born again, we're already blessed. Why is it some people don't have money to pay rent, but they are blessed? You see, there's something about the status. There's something about the activation. There are things that you have that, that must be activated. And the activation is not God's responsibility. It's ours. You see how it works? That's how it works. It's like the anointing. You can be anointed and never know how to activate it. And just not be of any use because you never knew how to activate the anointing. But you're anointed. Activation. Next verse. Watch this. Next verse. Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, watch this, that we should be holy. Kaya, ya, ya, ya. Notice the connection. Holy and without blame before him in love. Verse 11. Verse 11. In him, that is in this him, in, inside him, right? Where we have all these blessings, every blessing, every spiritual blessing. In him, also we have obtained what? An inheritance. Where's inheritance? In him. So in him, we have the inheritance. In him, we also have what? This status of what? 
holiness in him. With our mobile app, you can do all of the following and more. Be a part of our services live. Listen to our 24-hour summit radio and access our daily devotional. Learn about upcoming events and programs. Access Pastor Andy's messages and books. Give your offerings, sow seeds, or redeem your pledges without any hitch. You can also link to all of our social media platforms or call the church office with just the tap of a button. You can now begin to enjoy the wonderful features of our own mobile application, Summit Bible Church, the platform for champions. God is moving again in a mighty way by His Spirit in this season. His great love is reaching out to us by bringing restoration. He is indiscriminately pouring out His presence and power in unprecedented measures. Yes, in the midst of all the challenges of our time, He is granting us an unusual but much needed season of refreshing. Revival has started. Join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for The Miracle Overflow. There will be an overflow of miracles of healing, miracles of deliverance, miracles of financial supply, miracles of provision, miracles of restoration, miracles of breakthrough, and the list goes on. God wants to do for you what no man can do. He is flexing his muscles against all the works of darkness. Nothing is impossible for the Holy Spirit of God to accomplish in your life. Nothing is too hard for God. So come full of faith and expectations. Come and receive your miracles. We will see you at 10 a.m. on Sunday morning for the Miracle Overflow. Shalom. For with God nothing will be impossible. My name is Agnes and I'm a single and I've been in Summit Bible Church for like three years. Amazing, very, very simple and um, easy, to, easy to apply to our daily lives. It's very simple and easy to apply to daily living. Something you, you can hear, you see from the word and action, you're able to act on the word you hear without chaos. Thank you for watching Break Forth. We believe that you've been blessed by today's message. For more information and resources, please go to www.andrewosakwayministries.org. Your generous support helps us to take the gospel of the kingdom and our emphasis on the manifestation of the sons of God all over the world. To partner with Pastor Andy in this global assignment, please visit our website, www.andrewosakwayministries.org forward slash partnership. Do join us same time next week on this station for a fresh edition of Breakforth.